Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, look at these crazy temperatures. I mean, uh, this is amazing to see how big of a swing in temps we've got. 76 degrees today. The record is 77 set back in 1990. We're going to get pretty close to that record. We might even tie it or break it. We'll see. The average high is 51. Tomorrow, temperatures fall 47 degrees. We come up a little bit Sunday. That's pretty nice. 53, even better on President's Day, 63 degrees. And then 77 on Tuesday. And we may be flirting with some 80s around Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We'll see. It's going to get very warm out there. Warm, pardon me, warm air has been pushing back up from the south lately. And so we got temperatures in the 60s throughout the southeast and uh, even up to Washington, D.C. right now, 60 degrees. We have some warm air there, but the cold front is in Pennsylvania and Ohio and it is dropping south. Now, something we don't normally deal with on, uh, in February is the humidity. The humidity is up. Dew points are in the upper 50s and even 60 at Hatteras. So, you know, for this time of year, that's some high humidity already, and it might increase a little bit before the front gets here. Now, we've got winds out of the southwest. They're pretty strong winds gusting to 25 miles an hour, high pressure to the south. Here comes the cold front. And right now it's in Pennsylvania and West Virginia, or getting into West Virginia, and it's going to roll through here in the late afternoon into the evening. So let's track all this, time it out. Right now there's only some showers up north of Richmond, up towards Fredericksburg, up towards Washington, D.C., but there's nothing locally. We're quiet. Going to stay quiet this morning. Partly cloudy skies for a while. Clouds will increase fast, though, during the mid-morning, and by noon we could already see some isolated showers. Now we get into the afternoon. Between noon and 3 p.m., the rain really picks up. The cold front starts moving in. We're going to have uh, at least scattered showers, if not occasional showers, and then the rain increases again between 5 and 7 p.m. That's the front. Now, the front is going to drop to our south. We're going to dry out overnight tomorrow morning, partly cloudy skies, temps near 40 degrees, and then through the day tomorrow, we cloud up fast, rain moves in. We could even see some isolated showers by noon, but it definitely comes in between noon and 3 p.m., and uh, we get the rain showers, and it's going to stay chilly tomorrow. Highs only in the 40s. That's it. Rain picks up later in the day, could see some moderate to heavy showers into the evening. And that's into Saturday night, but then we should dry out by Sunday. Stay tuned for timing changes on all that. Wavy News 10 at midday and 5 p.m. will have an update. Temperatures right now in the mid-60s. Beautiful picture in the background. It really is, but it does shake. There's some strong winds out there, and so you see that tower cam shaking just a little bit. Look at that. 67 right now in Norfolk, 65 in Portsmouth, 66 Virginia Beach, 64 Newport News. We're going to warm up fast. We got winds out of the southwest at gusting to 25 miles an hour. Virginia Beach, Norfolk, uh, Suffolk, and Melfa, you had gusts up to 30 recently on the eastern shore. So here it is, today's forecast. 72 for the Outer Banks, upper 70s though for Currituck, Elizabeth City, and Chesapeake. You got warm, breezy conditions, showers in the afternoon, highs in the mid 70s in Virginia Beach through Norfolk, Portsmouth, out to Suffolk. On the peninsula, 74 in Hampton, 76 Newport News, low 70s, Gloucester, Kilmarnock, upper 60s on the eastern shore, which is still warm. And then you got 77 degrees in Williamsburg. Again, winds turning from southwest to northerly. Tomorrow, highs only in the 40s. We'll get rain returning in the afternoon. Dry and mild for Sunday, 53. Monday looks good. President's Day, 65 and partly cloudy. And then, yes, upper 70s for highs Tuesday and Wednesday. Maybe just some isolated showers at that time.